Okay, so we created background and now I want to work on the foreground around this area. Let's create a new landscape. And one thing I found out, if I want shape and I want to modify some of this, it's much easier work with something smaller. We could kind of hide background, match in, and I'll show in, in a second how. So we'll just go and shrink down, make smaller. Again, we can do it here, or we can go inside and just going by the numbers. So we'll go right there and we can see 170. So let's go just 150 right there and let's lock. So we have 150 by 150 meters. Next, we want to modify this slider. So we're going in editor right here. And what I want to do, it is make it kind of flat so we can work our, we'll go remove any edges. So right here, which edgeless. But here's things. Sometimes if I look on a side, we want to smooth this because sometimes you can have a straight line as well up front. If you don't know where is the camera located, you can go right here, show entire scene, click right there, and you can see we have our camera position, which is make much, much easier to do this. Okay, let's go ahead with a click on a paint. And in the paint, I want to select just a right. We'll go invert because I want to go smaller, make bigger values, reduce the flow so it will make very soft and increase fallout. So edges will be a little bit smooth. So you can see right here, I can go very smooth on the edges and bring them down. If it's too big, we can always just decrease radius and just go right there. Or what we can see, you can see right here what I'm doing. I'm just kind of zero these edges, not necessarily one to zero all edges, just one that up front of the camera. And also right on the back, one takes a little bit those ones down as well. But here we want kind of do dual trick. One, we want to take down, but second, we also want to take and bring some of them up a little bit la later. Okay, so we've done this. Let's create kind of like lake view here. So we'll go take and we'll just go down. Go away. Maybe around there, pop up. There you go, beautiful. So we have some kind of a lake will look. Again, go ahead, sculpt one thing, what you try to avoid if possible, try to avoid using 3D sculpt because it will create additional polygons and it will be a little bit hard to manage them sometimes. Okay. So I think right here look good. Let's click OK. And also we'll take my main camera and I'll bring just slightly up. They I'm bringing up as long as I can see those mountains in the background. Notice right here our horizon line not necessarily changing because we go up and down. The horizon line will change when we're going to tilt. So if I go to tilt up and down, then is our line is changing. So I'll go set around this area. And we can see we have a nice composition. You know what? Let's take this little bit flatten down just a little bit and you can see we have an opening right this area which is okay because we'll take camera down and there you go so this is kind of our foreground uh, one thing i do like to create its additional layers So this way I can take and put it components in right place. It just helped me to kind of create areas. Okay, let's go bring it right here in the middle. 
Okay, next um, we can create the water. But one thing what I find out if I create a big chunk on the water around these all areas, sometimes I will have an unwanted uh, reflection or water. So what I do like for the small scale like this, like I'll just take a cube, stretch this cube to cover this area. Okay. And this is will be actually our water. So we can always go inside and maybe set this um, red color. And this way I can preview and see where is the water will go. And we'll after I'll just change materials on this one. So I can go like this and can see right here have an interesting point or just bring maybe even just a bit higher. So we have kind of going in. And this is a um, nice placement because right in this area where you can see we can place plants. So we'll have a little bit water around. We can put it uh, reeds or other plants in this area. We have a nice coastal and background with the mountains. So it's give it us play. Again, if you like to modify more, maybe add something on this area, we can always can go back to our terrain and like right in this area let's go to invert smaller and we can just add you know add a little bit more ground around this area Again, remember to see this, we enable our views entire scenery so we can actually see how, how it's going. And one thing, let's go with effects and let's go just add gravel to this. And you know what, because we're closer, increased resolution will help a little bit. So we'll this and gravel. Just make a little bit rougher look. We'll go click OK and render one more time okay so the land seems a little bit more interesting we have kind of almost like river going into the small pond or lake also when we add stone and grid you can see right here we have it some of those um, bumps which is play very well when we add um, grass texture to this and we have those hills, I don't know, real mountains. We could create a little bit taller from this mountain. Maybe it's what we're going to do. Just bring way high and create bigger mountain out of this. And some hills around. So let's do this, um, work a little bit more now on a background in the next tutorial.